It would seem that the banning of offenders is the order of business of late, with another result confirmed by Norfolk and Suffolk Roads and Armed Policing Team confirming a court result of this afternoon, where disqualified driver number 1826, dealt with by the police last year, recently appeared in court and was found guilty and given an additional 30-month ban from driving, a £2,000 fine and £295 in costs and victim surcharge. And a totally different type of ban relates to football. Football fans of the United Kingdom have got something of a chequered history, and that includes the recent pitch invasion of a Nottingham Forest game. Robert Biggs, along with other supporters, raided the pitch after Nottingham Forest won their championship playoff semi-final against Sheffield United after a penalty shootout. Biggs deliberately charged at a Sheffield United player, Billy Sharp, headbutting him and knocking him to the ground. Biggs attended the police station the following day and admitted he was responsible for the attack. He has now been sentenced to 24 weeks imprisonment and given a 10-year football banning order, which for many avid football supporters is going to be more difficult to bear than the prison sentence. And speaking of bans, Katie Price has today pleaded guilty to breaching her restraining order, which prohibited her from contacting her ex-husband's fiance. She has previously denied breaching the restraining order, but today at the Crown Court has pleaded guilty at the plea and trial preparation hearing. A restraining order, such as this one, is a protective measure ordered by the court to protect somebody else. The breach of a restraining order can attract a maximum prison sentence of five years. But not forgetting, however, that for her car crash last year, she was given a 16-week prison sentence suspended for one year, meaning she's released on license. When someone is released on license and arrested for a further offence, they can be sent to prison for the original prison sentence, along with any other sentence that might be imposed for the new offence. The court will take all of the circumstances into to account, but in particular the new offence committed on licence. The judge in the case has been quoted to say to Ms Price, clearly you have accepted responsibility for this offence and that you indirectly tried to communicate with Ms Pentecost despite her restraining order against you. I must warn you Ms Price that you are at risk of going to prison. She has now apparently been bailed until the 24th of June, whilst the judge considers the background in the case before passing sentence. As I said, the court will consider possible sentences for the new offence, as well as considering the previous sentence, which may run concurrently or consecutively with any new sentence. So as with all of these cases, it is important to emphasise that you must comply with any court order because the consequences can be fairly severe. Please remember to like the video and subscribe. I really appreciate that and thank you for watching.